Okay, so this is Nola and her couple. Uh, we've been unboxing our Comic-Con boxes, but we decided to do a loot crate because their theme this month was Heroes 2. And I love the heroes, Marvel, you know, all that stuff. So I decided, why not just do a loot crate? So this is a loot crate. Um, as you can see, it's kind of uh, not boxed very well. Uh, the Comic-Con box is always boxed really, really nicely. This came kind of damaged, so that's already one point against them in my book. But who knows? That's what inside of that counts, right? So there's a giant sticker. Okay. So we're going to open it up and see. Aw, they even decorate the inside of the box for us. That's so sweet. All right, so let's see what kind of fun stuff Loot Crate decided to give. Um, first of all, we have a, well, it's damaged once again. Not exactly happy with that. But this is a uh, Q-Pop. Is that like a Funko Pop except like an off-brand? I don't, I don't really know. But it's the classic Batman series. And as my sister Kara will attest, she and I used to set our alarm clocks for like 5 o'clock in the morning to watch Batman and Robin because we were absolutely in love with that show. We knew all the characters, everything. So that's actually kind of cool. Um... I just wish it wasn't, uh, you know, damaged. Thanks, Loot Crate. Uh, another thing is this Legend of Zelda kind of like wrist bracelet. I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan. I actually already own this, but uh, now I have it for both arms, I guess. All right. This is a, oh, it's a Batman bottle opener and also a keychain. That's actually really cool. Um, we often go places where we need a bottle open. I got Kurt one from uh, some other website. But I don't know, maybe we'll add this to it, or at least keep it in the car, because, you know, how fun is that to take out to open up bottles? What else? What else? A, hmm, regrettable, the League of Regrettable Superheroes, Loot Crate Edition. Looks like some sort of graphic book. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, some sort of, oh, I guess they just kind of talk about different comics. That could be interesting. Kurt and I are starting to get into comics. We hadn't really been into comics uh, probably about a year now. We've really gotten into the comics. So this could be actually pretty interesting. Let's see. Oh, is this something? Well, if it's a poster, it's kind of beat up. Let's see. On the classic World War II poster with Rosie the Riveter. That's really cute. I like that. I actually think I'm going to hang that up. And let's see, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. And this is a, it's actually a little bit cheaper than the um, Comic-Con box. A uh, Star Trek air freshener, live long and prosper. Kurt shaking his head, yes, yes, we will be putting this up in the car. And just, uh, just some little advertisements. But as you can see, the box is kind of cute. But anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's, it has... It has some cute things in there. Uh, when they said a Legend of Zelda wearable, I was actually thinking more along the lines of like a t-shirt or something. So I'm a little bummed out that this is the wearable. But, you know, it's Zelda. And like I said, I really wish the box wouldn't have came all uh, destroyed. You'd think that they could have boxed it a little bit better than that. Uh, so it didn't actually destroy my stuff because I'm the kind of nerd that actually keep things inside of boxes, you know, can't get the value down. But I'll probably actually take this out since, you know, the box is already kind of destroyed. This is actually cool. This is actually cool. And I like the poster as well. Probably will read the book. So, yeah, it's actually, it, it's a lot cheaper than uh, the Comic-Con box. So we might do it again. I don't know. We'll have to see what the next uh, theme is. But anyway, so that's your Loot Crate Heroes 2 box. Um, enjoy.